there guys, so we are sticking with the stock manifold. I've just done a little nice job of cleaning this up. It's come up really great and ready to be refitted. And I've just done it using just this little block, little uh, painter's stirrer, just snapped the end off, wrapped it in some fine wet and dry, a little bit of uh, masking tape on the back, and that's how I just cleaned up all the surfaces so that when you reuse the old gasket which I've also cleaned up it'll have a really good seal and no point really changing these studs I believe I changed them last time so I'm just going to leave them in there of course we'll fit a new gasket and some new nuts with the new locking tabs and that'll be good as gold it'll do the job just fine with the turbo upgrade that we're going going with so that's ready to go back on now. So we've got new exhaust manifold nuts. Also got the turbo nuts as well. And a new turbo gasket to manifold gasket. And a new drain tube gasket along with the S15 JDM spec drain tube. It's a little bit different to the standard T28 journal bearing turbo. Gonna put that back on. And we have the nice new locking tabs as well for the turbo. Now it's time to pretty much dummy fit the turbo onto the exhaust manifold. We need to put it all together and basically we're just going to put it together with a few bolts and nuts. This is where we need to clock the turbine housing and also the compressor housing so that basically we can get the perfect fit so that basically the intercooler piping will line up in the best manner. So will the exhaust, very important. And we've got the turbo just loosely fitted to the manifold now. We've loosened off the bolts for the turbine housing so that we can clock it, we can rotate it. Same goes with the compressor housing there. One thing you do want to make sure that you do is make sure that the oil drain is facing straight down and it's not like cocked like that. That's what Garrett say to do. Because once you loosen off both of these sides, this internal, what the cartridge, the full centerpiece can rotate quite freely. So just bear in mind. And also you will have a bit of difficulty lining up your lines if you don't get it pretty much facing straight down, the oil drain facing right down. All right, let's take this turbo set up and let's dummy fit it and see how it lines up and where we need to clock it for our setup moving forward. I've just slipped on the gasket and we'll just do the manifold up with just a couple of bolts, get it in place and we'll just see where the intercooler piping will go and how it will mate and line up to basically the hot pipe of the turbo and we'll mark it and then we'll pull it off again and then do the final set up on the bench over here. So we've got the turbo just mocked up in location on the manifold. This is what I mean by having to just loosen the compressor housing, making sure that it's loose. So this is what clocking a turbo is all about. You just mock it up in position and then you just play with where you need it to go. Originally it was like down here. That would be fine, but I want to make it as close to the pipe I already have. My intercooler piping actually runs through, this is standard setup, so it runs through here and then I have a pipe that comes over just like this and usually it would go down. The hot pipe from the turbo actually doesn't have another attachment on it like from factory. So what we need to do is we really need to tilt the hot pipe up high as possible, bear in mind don't want to get it too close to the exhaust manifold because that will heat up that silicon joiner. Uh, what we might have to do is heat wrap it and then we won't have a problem there. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you uh, what I'm doing here. I am actually loctiting the turbine housing studs in. There's only three studs on, this, on the turbo and I've just put Loctite on there because I don't want the stud to undo on itself when we go to pull the dump pipe. And I'll show you a little trick. If you don't have a stud removal install tool, pretty much all you do, grab a nut, you'll need two of them. Basically all you do is tighten the two nuts together and then once these nuts are tight together, you can then do it up pretty tight uh, and that's how you get the stud in. So that's a little tip to getting that stud in nice and tight, a little bit of Loctite and just using a couple of nuts if you don't have the proper tool, does the job just fine. All right, here we go. So I'll just show you what I mean. You can see what I'm doing pretty much already. Just tightening those two nuts together, tighten them together. And then now on the outside, the last nut, you can now tighten the stud all the way in until you feel like it's tight enough. It is a tapered fit, so it'll only go so far.
All right, now that's well tight. I am happy with that. And then it's just the reverse, basically, to get to remove the nuts. Pretty self-explanatory. And that's how you install a stud when you don't have the right tool. So here we have these studs all installed. As you can see, they are a tapered fit, so you can only go so far. They are all Loctite now, so I'm really happy with those. You only need three for the T28 S15 Turbo. These three are the ones that go on the bottom. And uh, yeah, they are a little bit tricky to get to, to put nuts on, but thankfully these studs are a little bit shorter compared to the ones that we removed. So it's just gonna be a little bit easier getting that dump pipe off and on. Mm -hmm.